Okay, we'll start here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, Part 41, Wheel. In today's episode, we re-entered thinking about, again, what we call vertical and horizontal uh, elements in music design. For example, we've been adding vertical parts here, but we're also doing kind of a horizontal harmony. Whereas here, we're doing vertical chords. Um, and then we had experimented in the last stream with uh, sextuplet arpeggios, which we got rid of. Um, but we did get carried away with the idea of of geography and slopes. So, so what we had done was we had turned these arpeggios into rising hills and mountains and and falling, and so we made all of them have that rising figure. Plus, we put a, a slur arc on there, and we added. Uh, Slow, uh, soft to loud to soft dynamics in there. So now we're trying to get that cross-fading idea intuition from our, our video editing. And then we finally added a, a bass line and we're using the synth here. And it's kind of, it's, a, it's, it's another rise fall. We haven't slurred it here and it's gonna be a lot easier to show this to you if we do it this way. But you can see that the 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 terrain here is um, we're actually whereas this is if if we were to draw slurs here, there's no reason we couldn't. We would see that this is a valley. It's coming high to low and then low to high whereas this is going low to high high to low low to high and there is a valley in there so to speak um, so we ended up calling this uh, arpeggio variation two because we made it rise and fall terrain one it's part of the terrain and then we, we usually call the base part the shimmer but we also called it terrain two so we have two layers if you think of a cross section of a geographical slice in a mountain um, we, we have kind of one layer going like this and another going like this. Well, that's hard to do. Yeah. So we're still carrying forward the, the geography idea. Now, we also did some experimenting. We had shot some video footage of water, of all things. And, um, and so we were experimenting with putting this, the music against the water. And we actually made two versions of, of this movie. The first one is with, with just piano, no bass sweep, same video. And then this one. We're not sure which one we like or if we like them both. It's just, it's, we were continuing the experiment from the last stream of showing something visual while we listen to something oral. And rather than use a wooden corkscrew animation from a 3D platform, this time we used a live, quote unquote, live. It's a phone video of high water with a uh, great egret in the background. And the fun part about this is that the egret flaps his wings, except you can barely see it in there but we kind of deliberately pick, pick, we clipped it. Yeah, so that it would flap his wings just at the start. And we also experimented with stretching the video so that the video clip, see this is the unstretched video. And um, well, you can't see it because we're not showing it. 
let's not get too distracted. The point is that we had a lot of fun doing that. So what we're going to do is play the current fully uh, scored version of Improvisation 3 using what we call the Sweep Synthesizer Terrain 2. And here we go. So that ends today's stream. What we really like about this work today is the um, the sweep synthesizer adds a kind of a background aural movement. It, it's actually going between left and right, but it's so in the background and deep that you still see slash hear the the da, 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 the main part up here. But it's giving you movement within the bar, within the bar. And so that's adding movement, and it's it's aural movement. Uh, the other thing that's interesting is that in in changing, we ended up adding yet another kind of a chord uh, energy in these final bars. Like up here, we added a tonic rest energy, and here we added a uh, a clashy energy. So so what is neat is that that the the sweep provides. aural motion within within a bar within one sustained note now we've noticed that before uh, but now now we're seeing the par parallel to um, to the to the video editing basically Video editing with um, side motion in the visual range. For example, we had we had an audience of avatars, and then periodically the avatar would shift or move. So even though the voice was going on explaining some cognitive point, even though we were between a slide and a screenshot. Uh, instead of it being a static fixed live view of the audience because little bits of motion happened in the audience they kept us paying attention but still listening to the the cognitive uh, topic in the background so our ideas for next time are continue working with the geography composition we, we had some more carry forward ideas we had forgotten we had that footage and we went way down here where it said hey explore the bayou bird footage and we did so um, then some other miscellaneous things that we want to look up uh, are, and to be determined. Shout outs to Boaz Beckham. Thanks for coming back. And Miss Cleo. 
So tune in next time to see what happens next. <laughs> do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>